I was in building trades in high school, two years in building trades, knew I wanted to do something in construction. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do custom homes or commercial. At the recommendation of some family and friends, I chose the commercial path and put an app in at DJ and have been here ever since. I'd been at DJ probably four months. I was working with a couple of younger superintendents that had done the program themselves, and they were basically telling me the advantages of doing it, both as a chance to learn some new hands-on skills, but also to sort of make yourself more available to be a leader. That, that was really my motivation for going through the school. I, I wanted to be a leader. For me, it was really how much I didn't know. You think you're prepared, you think you know what to do. And for me, I didn't know a lot of the stuff that our subcontractors did. You know, I, I understood what DJ did because I did it as a laborer. But, you know, it's a pretty hard learning curve at first to understand what, what everybody else does. My first project was at Jayco in Middlebury. I was lucky enough to have a superintendent on that site that sort of watched over me. Even though that was my project, that was my first one. And I remember that I didn't know very much like I thought I did. So I, I was really lacking in exactly what our subs do and the order that we need to do things. I kind of only knew the DJ part from being a laborer. So it was a learning curve. A DJ kind of had a lot of mentors and in fact they kind of paired us up as you're you know kind of become a lead a lead carpenter you kind of get paired up with a foreman and that was uh, especially beneficial to me because you really learn to see how those guys do it so you can kind of fine-tune how you want to do it someday so yeah I still have contact with those guys some of them still work here some of them are retired but I still talk to those guys uh, those guys help me a lot The progression of my career has been good at DJ. They've given me all the opportunities that I needed to be able to advance. You know, I went from a laborer to a carpenter in charge or a lead carpenter to a foreman, which basically meant I still wore a tool pouch, still worked with the guys to a, you know, a project superintendent where I really don't wear a pouch anymore. But you see a little less of the hard work of your day but you get to see the project from start to finish, from the, you know, the very first day that you stake it out to the day you hand over the keys. I kind of feel like there's always more opportunities, more to learn. I would never turn down taking a class. Any company that's gonna allow you to better yourself, you should jump on the opportunity. When you walk away from a project as a superintendent, you get the chance to be there till the very end. So you get to make contacts with all the new owners. You know, you, some of them are old friends that we've done lots of work for. Some of them are new owners that you get to meet. Usually you have a new sub or two mixed in that you know you get to know and you make friendships. You don't always have the same guys on your crew, so you get you know you get to know some more guys. O overall, very rewarding to be a superintendent. It's really the start to finish, and nobody else gets that piece of it. So you kind of have something that's just just yours.